TD is back to share edge technologies with you. We're going to talk about the importance of automation and why a bar feeder might be something you want to implement in your shop. Shop Today I have the great pleasure to be with my buddy Rick, the vice president of edge technologies. So we're going to talk about service. We're going to talk about warehousing, support, the importance of automation. I have the pleasure to be with you, Rick, today. Thank you so much for being a part of MTD. Absolutely, Tony. Thanks today. What a great day to be here at Morris Midwest in uh, Elgin, Illinois. So It really is, and what a great facility. And knowing it's a partner of yours, I'm really excited to be here. But today, let's focus on the importance of automation real quick. Let's share with the Absolutely. audience. From the perspective of bar feeders, which Edge is a leader in, Let's talk about the significance of automation. So, great question. Of course, automation is really what the, the buzzword that everybody's leaning for. It goes from robots to pallet changers to all kinds of levels of, of different equipment. However, the bar feeder becomes one of those that's kind of simplistic and easy to integrate, and it, it provides instantaneous. Is it as simple as plug and play if I already have a turning machine? Can I just slide it on in? It's funny. We, sometimes we use the terminology plug and pray for that <laughs> because that's what people say. But yes, we can. We can plug them in. Most of the time the interface is, uh, is double checked at installation. We go through all the signals and make sure it works. But it is a plug and play laser alignment aligned to the machine and, and typically up and running in an, in an afternoon at the customer shop. So I see a nice size bar feed behind us here, right? But you have many different options from the banner I'm looking at behind you. If I'm suffering for floor space or if I have plenty of floor space, you have options for all of that, don't you? We do. So we can do anything from a short loader, which is a great product for low volume frequent changeover, up to 24 foot solutions, systems that can be used from chrome mollusk bar, Fortune 500 companies where they're making long axles or pinions. And, and so we can go a common as a 12 foot system. That's where uh, a lot of people buy three meter or 12 foot bar. And, and of course, this type of system leads us right into filling up the magazine and, and doing continuous production. What I like about bar feed is it's really cost effective, right? We You said plug, plug and pray, but plug and play more or less. It's cost effective and it's gonna allow me to run lights out through the night, depending on my cycle times, how often I can do that. So I get my ROI back really quickly, don't I? That's correct. So a lights out system is really easy to do. It's kind of like taking a long drive. When you take a long drive, you set the cruise control over maybe five mile an hour. And so everything settles in nicely so that the end user will dial in his tooling and get it in perfect. You add the bar feeder and fill the magazine up, maybe put some sort of parts accumulator on the other side, and you simply get eight, 10 hours unattended. Well, Rick, I'm going to expand on something, and maybe I'm even going to show a little bit of my ignorance, which I do from time to time. The audience knows me quite well by this point. I'm looking at this bar feed right now, and it looks quite long, but let's say I'm going to run through the night, and my cycle times are only 30 seconds, so my bar is going to be done in, say, a couple of hours, right? Do you also have automated solution that works with either robots or cobots or something of your own system that allows the bar feeds to be fed in as well? Absolutely, great question. We, we provide three solutions to that. The simplest is something, nothing more than an extended rack by moving the magazine out another 20 or 30 inches. Number two can be very helpful in heavy bars and it's called a bar lift. And it's a system that kind of brings it from the ground up and that's a great system. It adds capacity, but also really helps with, with heavier bars, tall center heights, obviously saving back injuries and so forth. And the third and final solution is a bundle loader where we can use an overhead crane, a fork truck. We can add 5,000 pounds of material right to the face of the bar feeder and go. That's incredible. So now we know the technology, we know the reasons for the technology, we know the importance of automation. Let's talk about some of your warehousing and service that you have. Where are you located and how much do you focus in that part of the, of the industry? Great question. We're based out of St. Louis, Missouri, which is a central point of the U.S. It's great for distribution purposes. That's where we house uh, all of our products. We roughly have 75,000 square foot of, of storage for, for the units. Uh, we dispatch all of our um, product from that facility and then we utilize eight regional service and sales offices across the country and that really gives us the advantage of putting somebody at a customer's facility as quickly as possible for for turnaround service. 
I do see you guys everywhere, to be honest. I really do. So great job doing that. And if somebody wants to look you up through a website or whatever, I know service is important to you, so you might even give them your home address, but I don't recommend it. Absolutely. What, what kind of website? Where can they find you? So you can find us at www.edgetechnologies.com. And I will give you my address. It's 11600 Addy Road, Maryland Heights, Missouri. So that's obviously Edge's address, guys. <laughs> this guy is amazing. Thank you all so much for watching. This is Edge Technologies. This is my buddy, Rick. Rick, thank you for being a part of MTD. You Thanks, are amazing. Tony. Thank you.